السلام عليكم أول لكتور is congenital heart disease Our objective is to know the classification of congenital heart disease and etiology We have two types of congenital heart disease It is either aseonotic heart disease There is no cyanosis An example of it is uh, VSD Atrial septal defect Aortic stenosis Pulmonary stenosis And uh, atrioventricular septal defect Betan ductus arteriosus. A second group of heart disease is cyanotic heart disease. Example of it is tetralogy of fallout, transposition of great artery, hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Other objective is uh, to know the epidemiology features and management of common type of cyanotic heart disease. We go to in detail in our lecture, VSD, ASD, and pulmonary stenosis. Number three, to know the key presenting feature of atrial ventricular septal defect, atrial septal defect, and BDA clinically, and how we can diagnose it depend on ECG, chest X-ray, and echo. Four, to outline the basic medical and surgical management of VSD, ASD, and BDA. The last objective is uh, atrial ventricular septal defect, or what is known endocardial Cushing defect. Describe the anatomy and the marmar characteristic in this condition and to be aware of association of this condition with the Down syndrome and outline the presented feature of this condition clinically and how we can diagnose by ECG and chase X-ray. Congenital heart disease, these are abnormality in the cardiocirculatory structure or function that are present at birth, even if it is discovered later. Incidence, it is 0.8% in normal population, and the incidence is increased with each pregnancy, and in second pregnancy become 2 to 6%. If the, if the family has the first child affected with congenital heart disease, and the incidence agree increase to become 20 to 30 percent if uh, the family has two other siblings have congenital heart disease. Etiology of congenital heart disease it is multifactorial, which is uh, there is genetic and environmental factor. Example of genetic causes of congenital heart disease it is either associated with the chromosomal anomaly like Down syndrome, Turner, Edward. It is associated with congenital heart disease. Number two, supracrystal VSD is more common in Asian population and increased incidence in the first degree relative affected. Chromosomal deletion, like chromosome 21 at the position of 11, a long arm of this chromosome, which is called Dijor syndrome. Number five, cardiomyopathy has genetic causes and uh, number six, irritable arrhythmia. Environmental causes of congenital heart disease uh, like maternal diabetes mellitus, it is increased incidence of congenital heart disease, phenylketonuria, congenital rubella, uh, SLE in the mother, drugs, uh, lithium, ethanol, warfarin, thalidomide, and antimetabolite, anticonvulsant. These drugs will lead to the increased incidence of congenital heart disease. Let's say not a congenital heart disease, we classify it into two groups, a group that causes the volume overload because of the shunt from left to the right, which includes VSD 25, atrial septal defect 10%, beta inductus arteriosus 10%, and the other groups which cause uh, pressure load due to the pulmonary stenosis 10%, correctation of aorta 8%, and aortic stenosis 6%. This the diagram show the ventricular septal defect on the shunt that causes lead to the right shunt and mixing of oxygenated blood with the right ventricle contain deoxygenated blood. But physiology of ventricular septal defect, there is a, this is cause a shunt the communication of a blood and the blood will be go from the left ventricle to the right ventricle. The shunt depend on the size. And on uh, number two, on the ratio of equation between QB and QS ratio. Number one, the size when it, it is either uh, we classify VSD into restrictive or into large and non restrictive. Number two, the depend is shunt on the uh, equation of QB to the QS ratio, which is mean pulmonary to systemic blood flow. Pulmonary to systemic blood flow. 
when it is a small VSD, the, this ratio will be less than 1.75 to 1. And when it is large, uh, shunt, and the large more than 2 to 1. Yani go the pulmonary blood flow 2 and to the systemic circulation 1. When a small communication is present, usually less than 0.5 cubic centimeter, the VSD is called restrictive, and the right ventricular pressure is usually normal. And when it is large, not restrictive VSD, usually more than 1 cubic centimeter, usually the right and the left ventricular pressure is equalized. The functional disturbance caused by ventricular septal defect magnitude of the left and right shunt depend on the size of the VSD and the degree of pulmonary vascular resistance, not on the site of VSD. Now, when uh, when it is large VSD, there is no resistance to the flow. Say there is large shunt from left to the right, and there will be progressive increase in right ventricle pressure, and later on increase in pulmonary artery pressure. With the time, with increase this shunt. There is an increase in right ventricle uh, wall thickness and result in increased pulmonary vascular resistance uh, and uh, cause repair shunt. This is a more severe and progressive case, which cause repair shunt from right to left. When this condition it is reached, it is called Eisenmenger syndrome, which is irreversible and the patient in combat, uh, in co uh, uh, it is, uh, cannot do operation. And it is irreversible. First, when uh, when the start of the condition, there is left to the right shunt, but with the time, with an increase in the pulmonary vascular resistance and an increase in right ventricular pressure, the shunt will be reversed, become right to the left, and the patient will develop cyanosis. This condition is called Eisenmenger syndrome. In a small VSD, there is high resistance to the flow through the VSD. So there is a small left to right shunt, and the pressure is normal in right ventricle and pulmonary artery. Clinical feature of ventricular septal defect, it depends on the size of uh, defect. When it is a small VSD, which is uh, most common, it is usually asymptomatic and it is discovered during routine examination. Uh, and uh, the, by uh, auscultation, we hear hollow systolic murmur. Immediately in neonatal period, there is a left to the right shunt minimum because of uh, that lead that to the murmur may be not heard. In the premature, the murmur it is heard earlier. When it is large VSD, the clinical feature is more obvious. There is dyspnea, feeding difficulty, poor growth, and the patient liable more for chest infection. Sinus is usually absent, but duskiness, especially during infection. On examination of the baby, there is a palpable barosternal lift. Lateral displaced impulse and systolic thrall. S uh, systolic thrall and hollow systolic murmur less harsh. Pulmonary component of second heart sound is increased. And there is mid diastolic rumbling murmur increase at the apex when the ratio of QB to the QS ratio 2 to 1. Now we, uh, we speak about the diagnosis of VSD. We demand on the ECG, chest, X-ray, and echo. First, ECG, when it is a small VSD, normal, there is no finding in ECG. But when large VSD, there is biventricular hypertrophy, we find enlargement of right ventricle and left ventricle. Chest X-ray in a small VSD, it is normal. But when it is large VSD, cardiomegaly, dilated uh, pulmonary valve, pulmonary vessel due to increased blood flow through pulmonary artery and increase in the circulation to the lung, become a blethoring lung because of a large amount of the blood go to the lung. And uh, number three of investigation, it is uh, echo, which is essential for diagnosis. By the Doppler echo must be done in all patients uh, for, uh, for the following, to, to know the size of the VSD, anatomical location, size and direction of intracardiac shunt, and the degree of pulmonary hypertension and the presence of other associated anomalies. Sometimes VSE it is associated with other congenital heart disease like tetralogy of fallout. Number four of investigation, it is catheterization and angiography. A small number of the patients with VSE require catheterization, not all patients. 
uh, provide a clean anatomical picture of the location of the number of VSD in patient when the surgery is required, and the estimation of the magnitude of the shunt, the degree of the shunt from left to right, and pulmonary vascular resistance is to know if the patient is still operable or not. To diagnose uh, the pulmonary, uh, if it is reverse shunt, when uh, we speak uh, earlier, uh, Eisminger syndrome, which is incoverable with operation. This is very important. And the last thing, to close some muscular VSG with catheter devi device derivative. Now we speak about prognosis and natural history of ventricular septal defect. It is dependent on the size. When it is a small VSG, closure will be occur in about 30 to 50 percent. Close spontaneously uh, during the first two years of the life. Most common in muscular, about 80 percent, and less common in membranous, which about 35 percent. When it is a small VSG, usually it is asymptomatic, and with the time, if it is unoperable, long-term sequelae, which occur later in life without cause arrhythmia. Arrhythmia, subaortic stenosis, exercise intolerance when it is discovered later. When uh, it is large VSD, it is likely to close spontaneously. 8% may close completely, but it is lead to repeated chase infection because it is uh, uh, pulmonary uh, congestion, congestion and the patient presented with heart failure and failure to thrive. Also, when it is large VSD, most patients need surgical repair in the first year of the life. With a surgical repair, most patients would develop pulmonary hypertension. On some, on some patients may be reached to Eisminger syndrome, about 10% of the patient. And some percent, uh, percent of the patient, about 5%, will develop infundibulum pulmonary stenosis. The pulmonary valve gets smaller. This is a natural, natural uh, occur because to protect the lung from overcirculation. Those with several crystal VSD, it is type of VSD at the risk of aortic regurge, may be developed aortic regurge. Small percent acquired in vendibulum pulmonary stenosis, uh, about 5% which protect the pulmonary circulation from over-circulation. And uh, there is risk of infective endocarditis irrespective of the defect site. Now we speak about the treatment of a ventricular septal defect when it is a small VSD, reassure the parents the no, no need for operation, only follow up, encourage patient to have normal life, uh, surgical repair not indicated, and only protect against infective endocarditis with antibiotic and the patient need monitoring and follow up by clinical examination, ECG for uh, evidence of pulmonary hypertension and by echocardiography. But uh, in the case of large VSD, there are uh, medical treatment and surgical treatment. Medical treatment to control the heart failure and to prevent development of pulmonary hypertension and also treatment of respiratory infection and uh, nutritional support and the prophylaxis against subacute bacterial endocarditis. Now we speak about surgical repair. Surgical repair, either pulmonary artery bounding, we decrease the diameter of pulmonary artery to decrease the blood go to the lung or maybe do total surgical repair when the patient condition it is uh, uh, it is any so we the complete surgical repair. Indication of surgery, we have four indications for surgery of large VSD. Number one, any age of the patient with large defect in whom clinical feature and failure to thrive cannot control medically. The patient take a treatment but still symptomatic. Number two, infant between the age of six and 12 months with large defect associated with pulmonary hypertension if, if symptom controlled by medical treatment. Number three, more than uh, two years of age when the uh, ratio of uh, pulmonary to systemic circulation more than two to one. And number four, patient with several crystal VSD, this type of VSD must do surgery because the risk of aortic regurg. Uh, by uh, surgery catheterization, uh, most muscular VSD and some membranes can close by device laser during catheterization. This uh, the complete of VSD. Now we talk about the second type of asynotic congenital heart disease, which is atrial septal defect. It is an opening in the intraatrial septum, other than beta and foramen ovale. It is more common in female, with a three to one. 
it has uh, three types of uh, atrial septal defect it is a primium atrial septal defect when it is located in the lower part of the septum that separated the right atrium from the left atrium and secondium atrial septal defect in the middle about 80 percent which is the most common and the, the last one it is sinus venosus in the upper part about 10 percent in uh, atrial ventricular septal defect, there will be chronic uh, left to right shunt, which causes volume overload on the right uh, side of the heart, result in dilatation and an increase in pulmonary blood flow. This is the diagram show the atrial septal defect. Vehicle feature most often it is asymptomatic. In young uh, children, it may cause the failure to thrive. In older children, lead to exercise intolerance. On examination, there is mild left pericardial bulge and. Uh, Loud first heart sound on the most characteristic of atrial septal defect. It is fixed wide uh, and fixed splitting of second heart sound. There is a systolic ejection murmur, and sometimes we uh, hear rumbling diastolic murmur when the ratio of uh, pulmonary to systemic circulation uh, more than two to Diagnosis by chest X-ray, there is a right uh, ventricular enlargement, round apex speed, and an increased pulmonary marking due to an increased blood flow to the lung. ECG, there is right axis deviation and incomplete right ventral branch block and peak P wave due to right ventral echo, which is most important for diagnosis, and catheterization not essential for diagnosis, indicated only for treatment, and exclude uh, other associated anomaly with atrial septal defect. Natural history, uh, it is uh, benign lesion, rarely cause heart failure or pulmonary hypertension, and rarely cause infective endocarditis, and it is rarely close spontaneous treatment if the patient is symptomatic or the uh, ratio of QB to QS ratio uh, 2 to 1, then surgery is indicated by transthoracic device closure, and it is done uh, after one year of uh, the age and before entering. This is the diagram show the device uh, located during catheterization to close the atrial septal Prognosis uh, of the atrial septal defect may close spontaneously during infant, may be tolerated in during childhood. The septum not appear until the third decade of the life, which may be presented with arrhythmia, pulmonary hypertension, heart failure of mitral or tricuspid with insufficiency. Invective endocarditis rare and need no surgical, no prophylaxis with any. Talk about what the physiology of endocardial cardiac defect in osteum primium. Uh, when it is partial, there is uh, left to the right shunt, there is a mitral insufficiency, but pulmonary artery pressure it is normal. And the clinical feature uh, we have uh, similar to the atrial septal defect. Uh, in uh, complete atrioventricular septal defect, there is a left to the right shunt at atrial and ventricular level. At both level, atrial and ventricle, which is uh, valvular insufficiency, cause an increased volume load on one or both ventricle at increased pulmonary uh, vascular resistance, which is with the time cause reverse shunt right to the left shunt, and the patient will develop cyanosis. Diagnosis of intercardial cushing defect by chest X ray. We found marked cardiac enlargement, pulmonary vascularity and the increase on pulmonary artery enlargement. Number two, by ECG, we found right axis deviation of QRS, right ventral branch lock, or right ventricle hypertrophy. Number three, by ECO, we found right ventricle enlargement, septal deficiency, and number four, by catheterization, and number five, by selective left ventricular, ventriculo, left ventricle, ventriculography. The treatment, an osseum primium with surgical correction, when there is complete atrioventricular cell de defect, there is risk of pulmonary hypertension during the first 6 to 12 months of age. Surgery is in early infancy is indicated. Sometimes do, uh, do pulmonary bounding of too small baby or associated with deformity that makes surgery it is risky and Natural history of atrioventricular septal defect. It depends on the size of various atrial and ventricular defects and the, um, the amount of mitral regurgitation. And the osteum primium with no mitral regurgitation has the same benign natural history of simple secondium ASD. But when there is complete atrioventricular canal defect, heart failure, 
and or pulmonary vascular disease may be a cause. The other subject we uh, last discussion in this lecture it is patent ductus arteriosus. It is a channel that connected the pulmonary artery with the descending aorta, a small part of the descending aorta. It results from persistent of patency of the fat fatal ductus arteriosus after birth. It is the most common lesion in infant of mother with congenital rubella, BDA more common in female. Normally, functional closure of ductus arteriosus occurs at uh, 10 to 15 hours after birth. If it is persistent open after pulmonary vascular resistance fall lead to aortic blood shunt to pulmonary artery, the blood shunt from the aorta to the pulmonary artery. It is more common in female. Uh, the site molecule at the aortic side, side distal to the origin of left subclavian artery. The pulmonary side at the bifurcation. Why it is not closed? In a premature normal structure due to hypoxia and immaturity. In term baby, BDA has structural mean it has structural abnormality. In term baby, it persists beyond the first few weeks, mean not closed spontaneously. Most of the cases in premature close spontaneously, 10% associated with other congenital heart disease. This picture shows the pathophysiology of uh, BDA, which is lead to the right, uh, left to the right shunt, which is depend on the size of the defect and the ratio of pulmonary to systemic vascular resistance. Clinical feature, when it is a small BDA, it is either asymptomatic, heart size may be normal. When it is large, Heart failure, growth retardation, bounding peripheral pulse, wide pulse pressure, and large heart, apical impulse to prominent, there is a there is machinery murmur, which is the most characteristic and mid-diastolic murmur at the abyss. Diagnosis by ECG, in a small BDA it is normal, but large BDA there is normal axis deviation, left ventricular hypertrophy or biventricular hypertrophy. By chest X-ray, cardiomegaly, bethoding lung, and prominent pulmonary conus. Treatment. We must closure of BDA irrespective of the age. Endomethazine is, is often effective in closing the BDA in a premature neonate by degrees of prostaglandin E1 level. Closure by number one by thoracoscope, degrees post-operative discomfort and scarring, or number two by transthoracic. Either it is a small by coil when it is large by sac in which several coil release or umbrella like device cause a closure of BDA. Continue. This is the end of the first lecture.